In this video, I'm going to be talking about why it is important to use a framework when you design your websites. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're designing a small website or just a website for your company. It is very, very important because a framework ensures that you have a scalable website, a website which is consistent and also looks beautiful. Anyway, so the first thing I want to show you here is the style guide. Now, out of the box, you don't get a style guide when you design uh, websites with pretty much any page builder out there. It just gives you a template to work with and you have to make all the decisions of what colors you're going to use and where they're going to go. So this is the first place. So. To use this style guide, it is very, very easy. You have to, first of all, establish your brand color. So to do that, you want to come over here to customize and then you want to go to your layout settings. So this is where your primary color is and this is your brand color. OK, so when we come over here, you can see this is where it is. Next, we have our secondary color. Now, I would like to call this the action color. This is the color that you add on your buttons and also all your links, your URLs and your call to actions. OK, so let's make these two changes so I can show you how easy that is. And also, I'm going to show you some other pages which are also very important. So first of all, we're going to come over here and let's say our brand color now has changed to uh, let's say something like that. So once we've updated it, all we have to do is to click on publish. And we're good. Now back over here, this is our brand color that we've just changed. If I refresh, you can see now it's updated. Next, we're going to come over here and change the secondary color. So for this secondary color, now remember, this is our action color. OK, so this is our call to action. I'm going to go with something like that. Let's make it a bit darker. OK, publish. I'm going to refresh. There we go. Our action color has also changed. So you may be thinking that, well, maybe this is happening just on the style guide. Well, no, this is our, these colors are happening globally across the whole website. So let's give you a, let's give a scenario here. Let's say you're working on a website for your client and the client decides, hey, you know what? My color for my branding is just a bit off. Can you go and just change it a little bit? If you have a website that you've worked on without the system, you would have to go into each and every page and make those updates. Now, if you have, let's say, 100 pages, that's a nightmare. And secondly, it's going to take you a very long time to go in and add dial in all these colors. So having a style guide will solve that. It's just a in less than a minute, you will have everything all updated. Now, we also have our headings here and our text. And this is also uh, done in one place. So let's say you want to change all your headings. You could come over here to typography. Now here's your heading text color. So again, let's go in and change that. Uh, this time we're going to go with a gray. So we're going to bring this all the way down here. Oops. Let's go back to our heading. OK, so we're going to bring this all the way down. Now notice that. As I'm dragging this, my headings are changing color and these are my headings right here. You see that? These are my headings. So you could actually see it in real time that it is changing. OK, so let's go a bit dark. Maybe something like 42, 42, 42 works fine. All right. So that's our headings and I'm happy with that. Next, let's head over to our font color or our body text color, which is right here. Click on that. Let's do something similar. Bring this all the way down here and let's choose a nice gray. So we're going to go with perhaps 49 or maybe a bit lighter, 56, 56, 56. But anyway, we can see it right here. And then finally, we have our link color. So uh, for our link color, remember, I mentioned that we need to use our action color as our call to action. So all you need to do is to come back over here copy that like that and we need to go back to our typography and change our link color by just typing it in here and pasting it excellent now we can hit publish and it's all done now you may be thinking but mac how has this changed across the whole website now let me show you how amazing this is so first of all, we have our action color here. Now we also have another page which is very important and this is our style guide page. 
So you can see here, nothing has updated yet. So I'm just gonna uh, save this page and refresh it by exiting the Visual Builder here. Okay, do you see that? This call to action button here has changed, just like that. So everywhere across the whole website, wherever there is a call to action, it is going to change across the whole website. And this is super powerful. Now, let me talk, uh, let's talk about something else which is very, very important and which is a great uh, advantage when you use Site Crafter. Now, oftentimes when we design our websites, it's very difficult for us to go in and decide which font size to use and uh, should we use M, should we use EM, should we use pixels and so on. But the one thing I'll tell you for sure is do not use pixels because it's not accessible when you're designing your websites, okay? Pixels are a no-no when it comes to using them on your fonts. All right, so we have this page here uh, that we've just quickly built. So I just wanna show you how responsive this text is and how fluid it is without even touching a line of code. All right, so I am going to uh, save this page and exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so now I've exited. Now you can see my uh, text here has changed. So what I'm going to do now is to drag one of these corners. Now I want you to take a look at the uh, fonts here, how it is responsive and at the same time fluid. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So it is designed to look great on each and every monitor or screen without even changing a line of code. Look at that. So that is the reason why you need a framework. And of course, I'm biased here because DV is the only framework that I know that's out there at the moment. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is, right now we've just done it for, for this text and the buttons. But what happens now with all the other modules? Because all these other modules really have to be responsive. Isn't that true? Absolutely. So what I've done here is, let's enable the Visual Builder first. Every single module has fluid text. Now let me say that again. Every single module in Divi has fluid text, which means you don't need to go into any module and start making any adjustments with the text. You don't need to do that because everything is all set. But what you need to do, and this needs to be done once and that's it, is to make sure that each and every module is set. And to set it up, you need to click on the module settings. And then over here on the top, you just need to make sure SK, because SK is for Site Crafter. So SK Blurb Fluid is that one. Make sure you have a star next to it because this is what's going to set it up as a default. So if you do that and click on yes, this now has become a default and it's going to be like that across the whole website. Okay. If at any point you want to go in and maybe make a few tweaks to it, no problem. You can just go in. Can you see the one with the star? You go in, you click on this gear icon. You can rename it if you need to, but I'm not going to do that. Or you can go in and click on this pencil icon and then you can start making your own adjustments. And once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and save. And that has updated the default uh, style, okay? So my blurb has been updated now. I'm gonna hit save. And like I said, it's a cross. Look at even this button here. It was updated because it's a call to action button, right? Um, and if I scroll all the way down here, you know, everything looks all set. Even the blogs, even the, uh, uh, the contact forms, and now this has our brand color. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? All done for you. Over here, this is our call to action and so on. Okay, so now let's head over to uh, the page that we're working on, which is this main page and see if this has taken effect. So I'm going to now uh, click on enable and see if our blurbs are working okay. So as you're designing your website, let's say this is your next section you're working on. You can just go in here, add your blurb. And let's say I want to add less text. And for the icon here, 
we can just choose uh, let's say we're gonna go with this icon now notice that our brand color is already applied okay you don't need to go in and make color choices it is done for you next you're gonna come over here to design and we want to make sure everything's all aligned here in the middle and that looks great now the size may be a bit too big but the good thing about this is you can go in and resize it okay now look at that it is on our SK blurb fluid as the default but we can go in and customize it no problem it doesn't break anything so I'm gonna come over here to is it sizing no icon there we go you can go to your icon there and you can make it a bit smaller if you want so let's go down to about 64 now let's say this needs to be my default from this moment onwards all I have to do is to come over here and you go to SK blur fluid the one with the star and click on this little icon here click on yes and pretty much that has become now my preset so whatever changes I do to this is pretty much going to be applied across so now that I'm happy with that all I have to do now is to come back over here duplicate this a uh, few times and I'm pretty much good to go okay so the question now is is it responsive is it fluid well let's take a look I'm gonna exit the visual builder and then I'm going to drag this and sure enough you can see it is definitely fluid look at that perfect so now there is no excuse of building websites that are not consistent or websites that are not uh, fluid now the third reason and this one here is powerful the third reason why you need site crafter as your framework is you have all your uh, templates pre-done for you for example let's say I want to search for something on the website here and um, Lorem for example hit enter we have our search results page designed for us and look at that it has taken our brand color here <laughs> for our design brilliant isn't it so let's say you want to go to uh, this one here look at that the article is done for us already we have your next you have your previous and we come down here we have your related posts you also have your comments area I mean we even have a footer so pretty much this has saved you hours and hours maybe even days of tweaking and trying to make things work on your website I mean come on it can't get any better than this so site crafter is on sale it is going uh, at 50% uh, discount at the moment and this is going on for a few days and after this the price is going to go up uh, towards uh, Black Friday so this is the best time to get this and also there's a lifetime license by the way if you purchase this once pretty much that's it you don't have to purchase it uh, again and this is also I mean this also covers you for DV5 as well so this is the best time really to get site crafter the link to that is in the video description below now guys I know every time I do an offer I start getting emails after the uh, discount is gone say oh Mac please can you change the offer for me guys you know it takes you know it takes long I have uh, a lot of uh, work that I'll be working on and to go individually into all these emails to start reapplying the uh, the discount and it's a lot of work so please if you can just get the get the license while uh, it's on the link to that is in the video description below anyway let me know what you think oh by the way I am going to be doing a lot of training showing you I mean to show you how to use site crafter so uh, don't worry about that uh, once you purchase site crafter you're going to be invited to the uh, community for site crafters and that is where I'll be doing all the training until next time thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one take care